Hi, I'm Daniel. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple trick to make this right on screen effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. So we're inside of DaVinci Resolve and you want to just add a little scribbling figure on your screen. So you have this clip right here. What you need to do next is to head into Fusion, which is this little cute wand down here. So we're going to do some Harry Potter tricks inside here. What you do next is you mark the media in node here. You press shift space and you search for background. Press enter. And it's supposed to look like this. If it's not, you delete this mark. Make sure that the media in is marked. You press it like that. So it's red shift space and background. Enter. Then you mark the background node, so you press the background node, shift space, and you search for paint. And the last thing we're going to do is mark the paint node, press shift space one more time, and you search for glow. Soft glow, and you press add. Then a very important thing is you head over to your background node. So you press the background node here. Press it. You go over here and then you pull this alpha lever down to the left. So you pull it all the way down to the left. And now for the effect. So you go into the paint node here. And you're going to choose this polyline stroke up here. And what you're going to do is to paint the thing that you would like to show and in order for you to not have this kind of thick line you can go into the br brush controls over here to the right and make the size a little bit smaller and when you pull these strokes you can press here and you can either hold in the mouse and you can change how it will fluctuate like this or you can just press once and go over to the next one. You will be able to change everything once you're done with the shape anyways. So you can just draw some kind of lining here. So if we would like to make this a heart as the test video is. You have to play around with this for a while. So you push and pull. You can also delete one of the dots. I feel like maybe this is too much. I press this and I press the delete button. And it will shape after that. I guess that's kind of okay. And the next thing you're going to do is press the paint node. And you go over here to the right and you press the stroke controls here. So you press the little arrow there. And then you have this right on effect here. So what you do is you pull this lever all to the all to your left. Then you'll press the keyframe button over here. Next step is to choose how long you would like this right on effect to to be. So if you press space and play the clip for a little bit, it will jump a couple of frames and maybe you feel that's the right duration. So what you do then is you pull this all the way to your right. And then we'll add another keyframe to the end of the animation. So now if you go back to your first keyframe, which you can see right here. It's nothing. And now it writes on the heart by itself. So the polyline stroke tool is very handy due to the simplicity of this effect, but it's kind of uh, complicated to uh, do your shapes. But for simple things as circles and hearts, it's perfect. So this is a neat little trick that you can use. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, you'll probably like this video.